Niger State Court will leave the immunity of the post President Mohamed Bazoum this Friday, June 14. This will be the very first step towards the possible trial of the man who was overthrown on July 26, 2023. Since his overthrow, Mohamed Bazoum has been held in the presidential palace with his wife Hadiza. The defense represented by Mr. Kulibali had requested access to their clients and his release from detention at the presidential palace. However, these requests were rejected by the court. At the end of Friday's hearing, Aoud Salem Mohamed, one of the ex-president lawyers said he had taken note of the decision and that the group of lawyers representing the ex-president would issue a statement shortly. The authorities in Niamey are accusing the ousted president of plotting to undermine the security and authority of the state, treason, alleged advocacy of terrorism, and financing terrorism. The former president allegedly talked on phone with French President Emmanuel Macron and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to ask for their help during the coup d'état in 2023. In December, the Court of Justice of the Economic Community of West African States ordered his release. This request went disregarded, and in January, Niger withdrew from the ECOWAS that had sanctioned it after the coup d'état before lifting the sanctions on February 24, 2024.